everyone. Welcome to AI Motion Studio. Today, we're excited to show you a new face swap update called Face Fusion 3. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through how to install it using Pinocchio, which is an AI one-click installation tool. Let's dive right in. All right, let's get started. First, we head over to Pinocchio.computer and click on the download button. We scroll down to find the appropriate version for our system. In this case, we'll be installing the Windows version. Once we select Download for Windows, we save the file and wait for it to complete. After the download is done, we open the file, unzip the Pinocchio folder, and install it. Since we already have it installed, we won't be reinstalling it here. Once the installation is finished, we simply open the Pinocchio app. Inside, you'll see the Pinocchio UI, where all of our AI tools are neatly listed. Next, we click on the Discover button, where you can browse through various AI tools. Here we find Face Fusion 3. We click on its interface, hit the big download button, and then click on Install. Once that's done, you'll see a page with an Install for You button on the left. We click on it and wait for the entire installation process to finish. This will download everything needed, every model and extension, so there's no extra work involved once it's complete. After the installation finishes, we click Done. On the left side, there's a Run Default button. We hit that, wait for a bit as extra models and files get downloaded, and then we'll be given a URL address. We click on the URL, which opens up the Face Fusion 3 UI in our browser. Now, we need to select our source. We click to upload a source image, or you can use a video if you prefer. The source is the face we want to copy. Below that, we upload the target video or image. This is where the face swap will be applied. Once the uploads are done, we select the processors by choosing Face Swapper, Face Enhancer, Expression Restorer, and Face Debugger. Since we're running this for the first time, the models will download in the background so it may take a little longer. Next, we scroll down to select the Face Enhancer model. We choose version 1.4, and for the Face Swapper model, we go with InSwapper 128 FP16. We leave all other settings as default. We then scroll down to the Execution Provider section and select CUDA, which will use our GPU to run the face swap faster. Finally, we scroll down and click the Start button to begin the face swap process. Depending on the length of the video and our GPU, this can take anywhere from 1 to 5 minutes, so be patient while the process completes. All right, let's check out the result. As you can see, the face looks younger and it's nearly impossible to tell it's a swap. It looks like the original video. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison with the original. You can see how seamless this face swap is. It's a total game changer. You can use this for consistent characters, TikTok videos, and so much more. And that's it. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and happy creating. Thank you.